Welcome back to our F1 2020 My Team Career Mode. This is part number nine, the Canadian Grand Prix, and this is gonna be a very special one. Hopefully we don't run into the same issues as last time because um, if you missed it, things didn't go super well. I'll link to that video down below though if you wanna check it out for yourself and cry along with me as well. The link to the AR12 merch, which is officially back in the store. Don't wait too long because it's selling out very quickly. Thank you so much to each and every one of you who has already checked it out. Thank you for supporting the channel. Anyways, back to F1 2020, we've got some time on our activity timeline and honestly I think we're really gonna keep investing in Mick Schumacher, G-Force training, get that race craft up a little bit more and we're gonna go so far as even upgrading more personnel for him. Analysis suite, we spend a million bucks, we improve his experience stat even more so you know what let's go for that hopefully it's money well spent and then we come to the R&D tree where things aren't going very well. I know a lot of you guys were like, hey, if you want your parts to not fail, you gotta make sure that that failure chance is as low as possible. And 27% isn't that bad for failure. However, for me in this game, I've just been having the worst luck, I swear. That failure rate has been more like 80%. Anyways, we're gonna toss some more resource points into the car and fix up those parts that we should have had on the car the other day. And then, like I said, one more thing that's gonna make today very, very special. Today Today is the Canadian Grand Prix, which is my hometown Grand Prix, the hometown for the NCP squad. And because of that, I've gone in and I've built a special edition livery for the boys today to celebrate Canada. We had to go in and talk with our sponsors, but they were happy to do it. So we've got a brand new livery for today's race only. After that, we'll go back to the usual black and blue stuff, but it's Canada Day today. Sort of, kind of. Anyways, let's advance some time. Mick has now been upgraded a little bit and I will head off to the Canadian Grand Prix, do all the practice programs and I will regroup with you guys for a little bit of qualifying. Oh man, <laughs> look at the weather out here today. That is ridiculous. Anyways, no, we are not driving a Ferrari. This is the NCP Special Edition Canada only livery. How cool does it look? Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below of like special edition liveries. Maybe we do like one or two per season if that's okay with our sponsors, obviously. Anyways, for those of you who don't know, this is the Canadian Grand Prix and this is my best circuit on the F1 calendar. I can just usually rip it around here providing it's not a tornado. I guess in like the bigger picture though, I should be hoping that the Grand Prix, the race tomorrow is actually a dry race. Hopefully I'll keep my fingers crossed for that one, but let's see what we've got. Wall of Champions, don't crash into it. There we go, short line to the finish and we'll see what we've got. I don't expect that to be a very good one. I can clean that lap up even if the weather stays the same. I guess we'll chuck on some new intermediate tires and go from there. So we skipped ahead on time a little bit. There's only five minutes left in the session. I am in P17. It's not looking too great. My teammates down in P19. I think I'm gonna head out early and try to do another lap and hopefully things go well. As per usual, we will go in, do this lap with no talking and I am gonna keep fingers crossed for a very green lap. Yeah, we've already dropped down to P18 now, so let's, let's pick it up a little bit. No way, look at this lap time. That is mind blowing. Hopefully that's gonna be good enough. Two seconds, green, that is crazy. Yo, fastest lap, that's what I'm talking about. You do not mess with the NCP boys at our hometown race. So let's see, where are we gonna finish? I, I will be honest, I have no idea. Maybe some guys, oh, we dropped down to P7. Yeah, that was, that was too good to be true. Yeah, we nearly got bipped by a second by Lewis, so that's insane. Where, where is my teammate? Oh, Mick! We have put so much time and effort into our car. We cannot be finishing P17. This is the hometown race, buddy. We gotta be doing better than that. That's what I'm talking about. A lovely sunny day for the Canadian Grand Prix. 
Let's freaking go. The flag to match the car. How cool is that? So let's see. Maybe some people have some penalties. Lewis, though, is going to be leading the grid away in P1. His teammate, Valtteri Bottas, down in P3. Not bad for the Ferraris. And we move up to P6. I think that's Albon who has a penalty. Let's take a look. George Russell with an amazing qualifying. There's Albon, 10 place grid penalty. F in chat for that, man. Mick Schumacher in P17. Latifi, uh, yeah, he's struggling a bit. And Kvyat also picks up a 10 place penalty. Man, it goes to show how good I am at this circuit. Like, for those of you who don't know, I've done this circuit thousands and thousands of times. So it kind of makes sense why I'm better on this circuit compared to all of the others. Anyways, today we've got a two pit stop strategy, starting on the softs, mediums on lap nine, and then mediums on lap 22. We'll see if we get any safety cars. It's very, very possible. So that will obviously impact our strategy quite a bit. Yo, how cool is that? The red cars lining up next to each other, rev it up. And away we go for the Canadian Grand Prix. Vettel with a terrible start off the line right there. Get on the brakes. I don't want to go into the back of anybody. Vettel tried to go round the outside on the first corner, but we were able to hold him off up into P5. This is definitely payback for the last race. Now he's looking up the inside. Leave him some room. I was not expecting to see the Ferrari alongside so early this man sitting in the slipstream and he's gonna go side by side i'm gonna leave him room that was off the circuit well we've avoided a lap one collision a couple of times there but let's keep this thing going let's go to the bright red ncp boys i mean i will be honest i'm, I'm definitely not in the same league as the ferraris the red bulls and the mercedes so it's gonna happen, they're gonna go past me. It's just a matter of time as to when Vettel's gonna get in front again. Oh, and will it be right here? Yup, yup, okay. that Ferrari engine is so OP in this game, it's not even funny. I'm just saying, man, those Ferrari guys need a little bit of a nerf because they're not finishing up P4, P5 in races. It's not happening this season. I want to see if I can keep up with Vettel though. I want to be within a second of him, keep the DRS range, and hopefully run away from Lance Stroll. If I can actually get away from him, then that's going to be clear sailing to the end of this race. Speaking of running away, Sebastian Vettel turning up his car slightly. One second in front of me already. That's what I'm saying. The difference between my car and those top guys. Nah. Nah, it's not even close. 1.5 seconds already to Vettel up in front. That is ridiculous. And Lance Stroll is catching up and a green flag. Does that mean yellow flag? What is going on? Hold on, hold on, hold on. What has happened behind? One of the alphas. I think that's Giovinazzi is going to be out of this Grand Prix with, I would assume, an engine blow up there. That is very, very unfortunate. We're already back to green flag. Antonio Giovinazzi is out of the Grand Prix and safety car has been deployed. GG boys. I will be honest, I'm in a bit of a sticky situation here because if I go into the pits right now, I can't actually make the hard tires last the rest of the Grand Prix. So I think right now we're going to have to stick to our initial pit strategy. Yeah, so it looks like nobody actually went into the pits to go for like a funny pit stop strategy type of thing. So. I think we're still in good shape here. Yo, the safety car is already going in. What? That was that was the world's fastest safety car. It was literally one lap. Not even under the safety car. Well, green flag, we're going again. Rich revs everything. So let's try to keep up with Vettel this time. Let's not let this man run away. Yo, man is gone. What is happening? Already, it was what it was half a lap and he's already a second in front of me. That's ridiculous. Can somebody please nerf the Ferraris? Like, this is getting a bit silly out here. I'm sitting in the man's slipstream and I'm not even catching him up. So anyways, we've got our pit stop on lap number nine and I'll be honest, I don't know if we're gonna go in then. Like, my tires actually aren't that bad for the moment. So we'll, we'll, let's, let's put two more laps into this car and we'll see where we are 
on lap number nine or so. And we'll also see what everybody else is doing. You rejoin me on lap number nine, and I think I'm gonna go into the pits. Not so much so that my tires are dying. Lance Stroll has caught up like crazy, so I'm gonna go for like a bit of an undercut here. We'll see if we can get on some new tires and see what we've got. Jeez, there he goes. That's Max Verstappen, who's also jumped onto the medium compound tire. So I guess I am doing something right with my strategy. So let's see where we're gonna rejoin. That's looking like P16. That's not too bad, actually, almost P17. This is actually perfect though. Sergio Perez is gonna give me DRS everywhere so I can push this car basically as hard as I want. I'm getting a huge advantage having him in front of me. So hopefully when Lance Stroll goes in for his pit stop, he will be well behind. There we go again. DRS is opened up. I'm even going to turn my battery off. Teammate has jumped into the pits. There goes Perez. Nope. He's not going into the pits. He almost faked me out there. I was like, is he going in? Is he not going in? There's Lance Stroll, who's jumped into the pits, though. Back up to P8. We go in this Grand Prix. Perez, you better step on it. Oh, miles. Miles in front of Lance Stroll. Even... Even Carlos Sainz behind us is now getting in the mix with, with Lance. That's amazing. Oh, look at this gap. That is amazing. Here we go. Let's see if we can get one on Perez. Oh, a little bit of slide out of the corner. Not ideal, but we've got the battery. We've got the rich revs. We've got the DRS. Let's go. Swing it to the inside. Thank you very much. Thank you for P7. Now we've got one of the Haas cars in front of us. That's surprising. Well, I guess we'll put some laps in. We'll catch up to Grosjean, who's in P6 somehow. I think he's not gone in for his pit stop yet. And let's see if we can get him as well. Gaining, gaining, gaining. He doesn't even know which way I'm going to go. I'm going to go the long way. Round the outside, late breaking, and into the wall of champions. We go up to P6. Thank you, Vettel is on the soft compound tires for what is Ferrari doing with their strategies again? Anyways, I doubt Grosjean is really going to keep up with us too much. So let's go put some distance in and see where we are in a couple of laps or so. So update, it is now lap 20 in this Grand Prix. The Ferraris and the Mercedes are finally going in for their second pit stop. And I've noticed everybody in this Grand Prix seems to be doing soft, medium, soft, or soft, soft, medium. And I think I'm gonna do the exact same. So I started this race on softs, jumped on mediums for my long stint to get through the majority of this Grand Prix, and then we're gonna jump back onto softs to absolutely fly around this circuit at the end to try to catch up to those Ferraris. If it's possible, I don't know, but I will definitely give it a go. Yeah, you know what? I've just decided I don't think we're gonna be able to catch up to the Ferraris in this Grand Prix. Man is already gone 1.6 seconds. There goes Vettel as well, and they have no more pit stops to make. Like, how are they so much faster than me? Anyways, I'll try to follow them for as long as I can, try to stay within that DRS range, and yeah, I'm gonna lose it after this lap. Anyways, I'll get to lap like 25 or so, and then I'll make my next pit stop. So behind me is Grosjean Perez. Both of them are on the medium compound tires. So regardless of what happens with this pit stop, I should be able to close that gap back in. Thank you for the sauce. Very good stop, 2.3 seconds. There all these guys go, yo, I'm gonna drop way down in the pack. What? What? P12? What? And every single one of them has been drafting off each other and they've made up a huge amount of time. So I'm gonna chuck this car into lean revs for the moment as I cut my way through the pack and then I'll go for my fastest lap at some point in the future. So here we go, first person on the block, Carlos Sainz. Let's see what we've got. Actually, I'm gonna need to turn the car up to rich revs. Man, that Honda engine is fast or whatever you're using now. Let's go up the inside. I'm sorry, bud. It is what it is. You've gotta make the move happen. And back down to lean revs we go. Save up the battery and everything. Now we've got Alex Albon in front of us. Okay, can I get past this doorstop of a driver, please? There we go, up the inside. That was a move and a half past Alex Albon. Man was definitely not expecting that one. He's trying to come up my inside. 
I'm gonna send it. Oh, keep it on the road, please. Sorry, Jeff. Yo, you think I could do the same thing to Lance? Could I go for one? No, not gonna take the risk on that one. Too far behind. I think, honestly, what I'm realizing is that Lance Stroll is a bit of a quick boy in this game. Oh, up the inside on Lance Stroll at the hairpin. No contact, lovely little move there. I'm gonna get the DRS as well. Uh, actually, he might get it as well. Oh, look at the drag race down the back straight. That's amazing. Oh, and we're gonna we're gonna win out on that one. Thank you. Let's go. Grosjean though is in P6. Man is flying. Yo, Sergio Perez looking for one on Grosjean. Can I get one on Grosjean? They almost touch. Going into corner one. Perez and Groja slowing each other down. I'll be honest, if I'm not able to get a fastest lap in in this Grand Prix, I'm gonna be very annoyed with my pit stop strategy not actually working. Can I go for one on Groja? I can. Matt is napping in the Haas. No way, he was definitely not looking behind him there. Lovely move, thank you very much. Up into P7, Sergio Perez is the last one who's rocking. The medium compound tires. Here we go, is this gonna be my chance? Pass Sergio Perez, let's go, I'm even on the lean revs. Round the outside, switch back to the inside and back up to P6 in this Grand Prix. We go, thank you very much. All right, I'm gonna rock lean revs for a little bit. Try to save up some fuel and then put a very fast one in at the end of this Grand Prix. Yo, oh, I just went for a super fast lap with rich revs and using using my battery and everything and I wasn't able to do it. I, I wasn't quick enough. That's really unfortunate, but at least it looks like we're gonna get P6 providing the game doesn't decide to crash. We've got two laps left to go in this Grand Prix and we will have some huge points from the hometown race. I'm like halfway through the circuit. And Lewis Hamilton has already crossed the line. That's the difference between my car and a very, very fast car. GG to Lewis, though. And we are going to bring it home for the boys in red. Let's go. The Canadian Grand Prix through the wall of champions one final time. There we go. Thank you very much. Huge points today, huge points. That is what I'm talking about. You do not mess with us on the hometown track. We are too OP. We even come in, we raise the difficulty for these races and somehow we still destroy the AI. So Lewis picks up the P1 and Valtteri in P2. Why am I not surprised with a Mercedes 1-2 in this one? So let's take a look at these final standings. The racing points actually did pretty well. Albon having a bit of a rough race, if I'm honest. Where is Mick Schumacher? P18. Mm. Oh, and Nicholas Latifi last place in his hometown Grand Prix. F in chat, boys. Pour one out. Standings wise, we move up to P10. 35 points for the NCP boys, and we hold P8. Hopefully, Mick Schumacher could wake up and help us get some points as well, buddy. I'll see you guys next time with some more F1 2020 My Team gameplay. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys then. Bye!